This is the easiest way to get mending and all your other enchantments and trades for Minecraft Bedrock. The first thing you want to do is build an enclosure for your villager. It doesn't matter what this place looks like. The important thing is that it is a one by one square like this for your villager to sit in and make sure that you light this place up with a torch or lantern or something. Just make sure that it is bright inside of this room. The next thing we're going to do is grab a sticky piston and place it in the ground facing up like this. We're then going to place down our workstation on top of the sticky piston, so I'm going to be using a librarian, so I want to use a lectern, but you can use whatever workstation you would like. We're then going to set down a button in front of the lectern, and then grab ourselves a bed and place it at the back of the enclosure, just like so. And then we're ready to get our villager in here. Now for you guys, just create a railroad or get a boat here so that you can put a villager inside of this enclosure. But after you get your villager in here, he should link up with the bed and the workstation and then turn into that profession. So right here, we have ourselves a librarian. So we're going to grab another block and just place that above his head. That way, if there's lightning, he's not going to turn into a witch. We can then go ahead and press this button and his trades will reset. So as you can see, he doesn't have a job and now he has some trades right here. We've got respiration three. If we go ahead and click the button, he's going to lose his trades and he's going to get some new trades once he links up again. And as you can see, he now has this really awful bookshelf trade. So what we're going to do is grab ourselves some paper or emeralds and a book in order to trade with the villager to lock in the trade. Now, when using this, what you need to do is press the button. His trades will reset once again again and then we can click on him and we're gonna set our trades by trading with him so let's say I want curse of binding ideally this would be mending but we're just gonna go with curse of binding as an example we can then go ahead and trade for some paper to get some emeralds and now those trades are locked in so when we go ahead and press the button he won't unlink from the workstation and he is going to keep his trades so that we can continue trading with him and again ideally this would be like a mending book but you can have a bunch of these guys side by side and get as many trades as you want. This system is super useful and super easy, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then please be sure to subscribe and leave a like. My name is 1FMC, and I will catch you guys in the next one.